at long last, the final international break of 2024 is over. And you know what that means. The Apertura playoffs in Mexico can finally get underway. Ten teams remain and over the next few weeks they'll be battling it out for the ultimate crown in Mexican football. So let's talk about what's to come, how this weirdly complicated system works and which teams are involved. Before we get into any of that, let's take a moment to honour the eight teams that failed at the first hurdle. Querétaro failed to win any of their first eight games, but yet they avoided finishing bottom. And then there's Nicaxa, a truly catastrophic end to the season. Five draws, five defeats in their final 10 games. They didn't win a single one of them and it pretty much sealed their fate. So hopefully they can do better in the clausura. And then there's Leon with just one defeat in their final 10 games. And they decided quite literally to kick off against Monterrey after realising that they wouldn't be able to qualify for the clausura. So the playoff drama starts this weekend with what is called the play-in competition. And essentially what it is, is it's a competition between the teams that finish 7th and 10th. So there's four teams involved. Only two of those can make it to the quarterfinals. And for those two teams that make it through, they'll either be playing against Cruz Azul or Toluca. So putting it into perspective for this weekend, we have Toluca who finished in 7th. They'll be hosting Club America in Tijuana. And the winner of that will automatically qualify for the playoffs proper, where they'll be playing against second place Toluca in the quarterfinals. But it's not all doom and gloom for the losers between Club America and Tijuana, because they'll be facing off against the winners between Chivas and Atlas. The loser between Chivas and Atlas is completely out. They won't be playing in the quarterfinals of the playoffs, but the winner of that will have a chance, but they will have to beat the loser between Tijuana and Club America. And whoever wins that game will play against the league leaders from the regular season, which was Cruz Azul. And it's also important to note that all of these games, so between Tijuana and Club America, Chivas and Atlas, all of this will be decided on the night. There's no two-legged games. They won't be going to the other team's home stadium. It will be decided on the night. It will go to a penalty shootout if needed, and the result will be decided there and then. So let's have a little look at the four teams playing in this year's Apertura play-in competition. For Tijuana, this is the first time that they've reached the playoffs in five years, and it's actually their best league standing since 2018. Whilst Los Yolos massively overachieved this year, one team that completely underachieved is Club America. The reigning Apertura and Clausura champions, they've won the last two titles in Mexico, but this time around they could only manage an 8th place finish. Whilst they had a disappointing start to this season, they certainly kicked it up towards the middle part of the campaign, but they ended the regular season with a horrible 4-0 defeat at the hands of Toluca. So bearing in mind that Club America will be facing either Toluca or Cruz Azul, both teams of which they conceded four goals against, this will be either an opportunity for revenge or another night of misery for Las Aguillas. And looking at the other half of the playing competition, and Chivas had their fair share of misery with Fernando Gago, their former manager, leaving the club for his boyhood Boca Juniors after a 3-2 defeat to Atlas at the Estadio Akron. If they're going to beat Atlas this weekend, they'll have to do something that they've not done all campaign, which is beat a team in the top 10. And then there's Atlas, who pretty much relied on their early season form. They went unbeaten in their first five games and started the season very well, but they only won just once in their last 10 games. So that meant that they did scrape through into the playing competition, but they will take confidence in the fact that they did beat Chivas at the Estadio Akron not that long ago, and they'll be hoping to recreate that this time around. And when the dust settles on the play-in, it means that we'll have our final eight. And whilst there's six teams already there lying in wait, let's have a little look at who those teams are and how they've fared so far this year. Cruz Azul are the title favourites, just one defeat in 17, and they're looking for revenge after a clausura final defeat last year to Club America. In last season's clausura, scoring goals for Cruz Azul was their biggest downfall, but this time around they enter the playoff stage having the best offensive record of any team in Mexican football. At this stage of the season, five players for Cruz Azul have scored five or more goals and they'll be looking to bring the entertainment going into the knockout rounds. Toluca bring to the table an exciting mix of youth and experience. Los Diablos Rojos were unbeaten at home this year and they'll be looking to make that a fortress going into the playoffs. They weren't too far behind Cruz Azul for goals this year and they'll be looking to call upon Paulinho who scored 13 goals in 17 matches in the regular season. 
Tigres finished third in the regular season and they had a solid as ever campaign under new manager Velko Panovic. The last team to win a title before Club America's by campeonatos they'll be looking to call upon Andre Pierre Gignac, the veteran striker, who scored seven goals in the Apertura regular season. Pumas jumped up to fourth in the standings before the end of the season and they are riding a good run of form with just one defeat in their last 10 games. However, they are a bit of a mixed bag, having scored the least number of goals across the top 10 teams, but they have the second best defensive record. Mondre had a change of management halfway through the season with Martin Di Michelis coming in and he has a whole host of stars in his roster, but they managed to finish 11 points behind league leaders Cruz Azul. The key players to watch out for in the playoffs for Los Rayados are Jomen Bertolami and also Sergio Canales with the pair combining for 14 goals in the regular season. And the last team is Atletico de San Luis, the dark horses in the playoffs. Last year's Apertura semi-finalists are back and they're better than ever, having given Cruzers all their only defeat of the regular season whilst also beating Monterrey, Club America and Chivas. So definitely a team that's up for the big occasion, but can they go further than their semi-final record of last year? And then let's have a look at the things that we do know about the upcoming playoffs. So we know that Toluca will be facing either Tier 1 or Club America, both teams that they managed to beat 4-0 in the regular season. And then for the confirmed quarterfinals, we know that Tigres will be playing against San Luis, whilst Monterrey will face Pumas. And giving a bit of a preview for Tigres against San Luis, while San Luis have a great record against the big teams in the league, one team that they did lose to was Tigres. And whilst Tigres played a lot of that game with 10 men, they did score a 98th minute free kick through Fernando Gordian. And in actual fact, Tigres have avoided defeat in the last 11 times that they've faced San Luis, dating back to 2018. Meanwhile, Monterrey and Pumas has been a much closer affair in recent times. Even when they face each other in this year's League's Cup, Pumas managed to win, but only through a penalty shootout. And then when they played each other in the Apertura earlier this year, ended in a goalless draw. So with all that being said, the route to the final has been announced. And it is a little bit complicated at the moment because we don't know the results of the play-ins yet. But we do know that Cruz Azul and one of the teams in the play-ins, they will be facing whoever wins out of those two. They'll be playing against either Pumas or Monterrey. And then on the other side, you have Toluca and whoever they face between Tijuana and Club America. Whoever gets through out of all of that mess will then play either Tigres or San Luis. Now, for me, my prediction at the moment is that Cruz Azul and Toluca will make it to the final. Now, there's a lot of football to be played between now and then. And also, it's easy to say those two teams will make it to the final, considering that they finished first and second. But the reason I say that is I think that both teams are deadly going forward. I think that they're pretty reserved going back. It's difficult for teams to break them down. And yet they do manage to score a lot of goals. But with that being said, I think you can see challenges from Tigres and Monterrey. I think those two teams in particular will cause a bit of a problem. And as I said earlier, there is a dark horse sort of sense about Atletico de San Luis. They've got a very good record against all the big teams. I think when it comes to it, they will really step up to the occasion. A team that hasn't got much history, especially in comparison to a lot of these other teams in the quarterfinals of the Apertura. But... What I do know for sure is that it's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Will Cruisers all win it? Will they be able to avenge their final defeat a few months ago? Will Toluca be able to win their 11th title? Or will someone else be able to win it? Will Club America be able to win a third straight title? It is possible. It's very difficult for Club America, Chivas, Tijuana and Atlas as well. For all those teams in the playoffs, it's a lot of football. But they could do it. It's not easy, but they could do it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, guys, it's a pleasure. Peace out.